organize that event uh, in the locality. Uh, yeah. For boxing, yeah. yeah sure. Your love of boxing, I guess. Yeah, um, in, 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 when you grow up in such a community, you can have nothing but love for the sport. Sure. You know. Okay, so Sam is not here alone. I told you, we have the champ, we have Samuel Techi. Sam, good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm good. Congratulations. Thank you. Fantastic. So it's a back-to-back -back victory for you. You are winning during COVID time. You are winning uh, post-COVID. Still, there's COVID around, but you are still winning, which is good news for yourself and, of course, for Mother Ghana. Yeah. Fantastic. Great to have you back on the program. Thank you. Fantastic. So we'll be looking at your victory uh, over the weekend against Kamal Dimbo. It was your first fight as a professional, moving from the amateur and extending. For the first time, you are going beyond three rounds. Yeah. How difficult was it getting that victory in your first fight? Well, first of all, I'll thank God first and yeah. thank my mom, my dad, mm. thank also thank my team and my manager, Clement Kote, mm -hmm. my trainer, Aibazuga Kote, my coach, Coach Alaji. Yeah. I'll thank all of them for their hard work and mm. what they helped me in the team. Mm. And uh, uh, when when we are doing the press conference, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Kamaudi coach said, uh, 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 I was an amateur boxer. So he is professional. Okay. And amateur is three rounds. And mm. I told him, if amateur is three rounds, I thought I'm a uh, professional boxer at the Olympic. So if it's 12 rounds, <laughs> I can go. Ah. So I'm ready for professional because that's my dream to go to professional. Mm. So I'm ready. So you dared him that even you fought a professional boxer during amateur days. Yeah. So he's not going to be a match for you. Yeah. And you did that exactly. Yeah. Fantastic. So, I mean, in the ring, it was your first fight. How important was that fight, I mean, that victory for you, knowing that it's your first fight being a professional boxer? Yeah, uh, as for Kamal Rudi, mm. it's, 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 it's already a professional yeah. boxer, and, um, and that's my first professional mm. fight. Mm. So uh, uh, I'm determined to win that fight because mm. I'm, I'm Olympic bronze medalist. Mm. I cannot lose that fight. I'm mm. determined to win that fight. So I train hard at gym and, you know, defeat him. Mm. But was he, how would you describe Kamadi? Was he a tough opponent? Oh, uh, Kamadi is, 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 is a very good opponent, but, mm. you know, uh, uh, his You brought him thrice in the first round and gave him a talk out in the second round. Yeah. Everyone probably reading or listening will say well, it was an easy bout for you. Was it, was it easy? Yo, it, it wasn't it, easy. It was not an easy bout, but uh, I train, I, I, I determine my training. Mm. I train, I train all my training mm. and I show him in the ring I can do that. Mm. Sam? I mean, you are there as a ring announcer as well. Yeah. You're looking at him, switch camps, he's now with Bazooka Promotions. He keeps thanking his team. He says without his team, probably he wouldn't have chalked this victory. Yourself, what do you make of this victory he had over the weekend on Friday exactly? Um, very well. So um, we'd like to also give a shout out to our team, mm. um, the Bazooka Promotions, our president, the, the legend himself, yes. Bazooka Kote, Zuka Kote yeah. our chairman, Stefan, uh, our manager and head of operations, that's... Um, Mr. Clement Korte, mm. and then I caught a junior as a secretary, and then me, Adama, Adama Fio, as our legal advisor, our media team, FC, and myself. So um, the night was. Okay, so that's it on your screen if, if you're watching. Uh, that's Samuel Techin, your shot with Kamal Din, and it was quite. Oh, most of us thought it was easy, but according to Samuel, it wasn't an easy uh, fight as well. So, yes, the Sam. night was a night of fisticuff explosion, mm. you know. You know, Kamaru Dini is a seasoned professional. Mm. He has been in the ring with the likes of John Laye, mm. Masiru Mohammed, and mm. Co. So he is a seasoned professional. So for Samo Tichi to handle him like that, mm. that tells you, you know, the, the kind of aggression, mm. the kind of precision. Mm. I, I, was, I was watching him. In the first round, he, 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 he gave out a punch that... Um, that was a counter left hook, mm. you know, a very sharp counter left hook. He he had sharp reflexes on the night, and you could see that Kamarudin went down with a jab. Mm. Not many boxers are able to give knockdowns with a jab. Mm. That should tell you the level of preparation that this young lad put in. And on the on on the night, it was not only um, Samotichi. We had. Um, a super lightweight encounter between Emmanuel Adeyayi and Francis Ayi. Adeyayi coming out with the uh, victory over six rounds. Mm -hmm. And then we had Issa Awal against Enoch Lamte. Issa Awal notching that victory over there. And, and, and then we had a very exciting bout. Derek Quay against Daniel, Daniel Quay. That was a rematch. Mm -hmm. you know. So Derek Quay notched the victory. But there was an interesting incident in that very fight. 
during the fight, a strange concoction was found in the corner of Derek Quay. So, really? Yeah. You know, the, the GBA officials seized it, and then they have to go and do some checks to see whether it contains any banned substance. And then um, Derek Quay would have to face the repercussions for that. Mm. You know, and then came the, the final bout of the night, the ultimate bout, where our Olympian showed glimpses of what we are to expect, you know. So I think that in, in all, it was a very successful night. Mm. The fans had had their money's worth. They were very excited. It, mm. was, it, it, it was a frenzied atmosphere. Sam, Sam your honest thought on Samuel in, in this fight, as a, his first professional bout. As the first professional bout, mm. Uh, many people will think that uh, uh, Boyfield was a soft opponent, mm. but Boyfield is no, he's a hard nut to crack. Um, I, I, I think that he's, he's a sharp, a sharp, um, uh, a sharp boxer puncher, mm -hmm. very, very sharp jab, very, very, um, very, very uh, uh, um, accurate puncher. He, he, his defense has not been really tested yet, so we can't comment on that, but mm. for now, his aggression, how tenacious he is in the ring, you can't question that. Mm. Yeah. We were here last week, and uh, Jojo made a remark that it's very imperative that as a boxer, your first bout, you win the fight to help you, you know, spur on. It, it gives you the confidence you need, it motivates you, and of course, boxing is about awarding point as well, in terms of ranking in the continent. So. It was very important that he gets a victory. I was thinking of the view that was of the view that it probably put a lot of pressure on him. But clearly, what we saw, it looked like you, you didn't feel that pressure at all in the, on, on the night. Yeah, you didn't feel that pressure. No, that pressure to get your first victory in your first professional bout. No, no, no. Okay, definitely I saw that job and I Bazooka Kote. I'm interested in this because you're in his camp. Yeah. In his prime, he was known to be one of the best job. He had a very you know, his job was weaponized. It was more of a weapon. It was one of the best things that happened to boxing. And I saw that job from you, and he, he come out and went down. Was there a special strategy getting your jobs very, you know, <laughs> like a weapon to, to, to defeat your opponent? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, my job is also a, a, yeah. a weapon like I was because he's teaching me how to jab. Mm. So it's also a weapon. Mm. That's why I come out and get down. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. And and do you feel the pressure not just in this bout, but there's a lot of expectation not from not your camp, but from Ghanaians as as an Olympian, one who won as a bronze medal. You know, many of us have not seen an Olympics Olympian also win a world title. You have the opportunity to be the first boxer to win an Olympic medal, and of course, go on to probably win a world title. How how do you take on some of these pressures? Oh. Uh, uh, if I became a world champion, mm. I would be the first boxer yeah. having an Olympic and also a world title. So uh, my pressure is to train hard. It doesn't scare you? No, it doesn't it scare It rather me. motivates you? Yeah, it motivates me to train hard to, to do that for Ghanaians. Mm. Yeah. Fantastic. Sam, your, your own thoughts on that? Yeah, so one thing mm. that I have come to notice about this young lad, Tichi, is that you know all these champions mm. you know the likes of Muhammad Ali and co Muhammad Ali started calling himself the greatest when nobody even knew him when he was a 15 year old lad you know he he has this conviction he has this inner conviction that he is good yeah. and nobody is better than him not many boxers have that that is the stuff that champions are made of when you see a boxer who is very confident. You, you might interpret that to be brashness or mm. arrogance, but mm. that is a self-belief. And this lad here has enough dosage of that. Mm. That is the stuff, that, 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 that inner conviction that I can do it, I can make it, I am a champion. Mm. And he has that. You know, so, so, so when you watch at, um, the, the press conference for this bout, yeah. he told his opponent that, Although you are a professional, before I am joining, mm. I don't see any of the professionals as my senior. In the ring, we are all equal. And I think that that is the kind of attitude that when you are in the ring and you are facing these big punches here and there, you have to remind yourself that I am a champion. Mm. And our young lad over here, Techi, has that. Mm. Techi, you have a long way to go, honestly. Yeah. It's not going to be an easy one. Yeah. This was a featherweight. I don't know if Techi will consider probably be 
we'll, 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 we'll take over this featherweight uh, category before probably moving on. Do you have any plans of moving on your, your weight category? This lightweight. This lightweight, actually. Yeah. This was actually lightweight. Yeah. So do you have any plans of moving on or you want to conquer that lightweight oh, championship? I want to conquer lightweight and super, feather. and super featherweight. Yeah. So Sam, what, what next for, for Techi after this uh, fight of, of his career? What next for, for, All right, for so, him? Um, he, he will just be vacillating mm. between um, featherweight and lightweight. This mm. fight was at lightweight. At lightweight, lightweight rather. Okay. It's 135 pounds, mm. and the super featherweight is 130. So we spoke to him, and he says he's comfortable making the 130 pounds. Okay. So he might drop there. And the plan is that in his third fight, mm. he should annex the national title. So no matter what, whoever he faces, he has to knock all of them out so that in his third fight, he would annex a national title. So you are thinking of uh, getting the national title in his third fight? His third fight. Third fight. Yeah. Well, so t tell us a bit, life in Bazooka Promotions Camp, how, how has it been? What, what, what can you tell us with, the, with, your, with your new promotion firm? No, things, things, things are good there because uh, uh, I, I caught it as a world champion. Yeah. And, he, he's you been, have like one of the biggest motivations in your camp, you know that? Yeah. That's like Bazooka yeah. Court, yeah. He's, he's been a world champion and he, he knows the route, the route to be a world champion. Mm. So that's why I'm under Ike, Ike Bazooka promotions to pass on that route to be a world champion because mm. that will be easy to pass there to be a world champion. Mm. So uh, all of us are enjoying in the, in the team, mm. uh, my team, my friends, we are all enjoying the team because we have a we have a big advantage in our team. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Samuel, one advice: we've seen boxers. I've seen boxers come and go. I mean, they start off very bright, but there are things that probably can, you know, get into your head. Lack of discipline, sometimes complacency, overconfidence, and stuff like that. You know, it, it comes along with with the success that you chalk over. Over, over the years in boxing. Yeah. I think it's one thing you should look out for uh, personally because it, it's not going to come easy. As yeah. much as Nelson says, you know, getting to the top is not as mm -hmm. easy as maintaining that sport. It's mm -hmm. difficult. So right now you're a target. For you to beating Kamal in, in that manner, trust me, they are going to come at you and they're going to come really hard. What are you doing to stay fit, stay disciplined? What are some of the things you think you can do for yourself personally? And what sort of assistance do you need from your promotions to, to get you into that shape? Yeah, you know, I'm disciplined in the gym. I mm -hmm. listen to my coach. And I listen to my team. I listen to my trainer. So I'm disciplined, mm -hmm. and you know, I'm 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 also going to be ready for everyone mm -hmm. in Super Federal or Lightweight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some one thing I mean, I see huge assistant is very important for him to track success. There's also the mindset, which is very critical for him to maintain that feat that he's just chalked, and of course get better. What, what is promotions or Basuka promotions also doing in this regard to, to make sure that we don't just lose, he doesn't lose focus of this. Yeah. yeah, so when you look at the Ghana boxing landscape over the years, over the past two decades we or three decades we've had boxes that were, were, were pointed out yeah. to become world beaters. A lot of them. Fizzled yeah. out. Yeah. The likes of Ayi Bruce, yeah. the likes of Charles Adimu de Kuseda, that, yeah. uh, the likes of Steve Doche, the likes of James Tony, the likes of Raymond Nath, the likes of Frederick Law. Duke Micah. Duke Micah has challenged for a while. for that, yeah. Plus, but there are a lot of prospects that were not able to even snitch at the world title. But they were very, very huge promising talents in their yeah, I'm tell this. Mm. We are not going to allow that to happen to Samuel Teji. And that is why the legend Ike Bazooka quote, I think that we should commend him for stepping in to make sure that this talent does not go waste. You know, together with the um, team, mm. uh, you know, Mr. Clement, Mr. Niadamafio and the likes, and we are all coming together to make sure that this dream does not just remain a dream, but it becomes a reality. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Ladies and gentlemen, you are watching Ike, uh, I almost said Ike Bazooka Koti. Well, he's in this camp, it's called Samuel Techi. It's one of the finest we have at the moment. Won as a bronze at the Olympic Games after a lot of years. Ghana has not won a medal at the Olympic Games. Talk of boxing. I keep saying boxing keep delivering for Ghana regardless. Boxing keep putting Ghana on the map when it comes to the bigger stages. And Samuel Techi did that. He was healed, he was acknowledged, he was appreciated. He won his first professional bout over the weekend or last Friday, and he says he's going to keep focus, going to keep discipline. He's in the camp of Ike Bazooka Korte. That's Bazooka Promotions, and I think the best is yet to come. So, guys, I mean, Sam, obviously, 
uh, he's still going to be in our camp. You're looking at his next fight. What what does this victory add to his career? It's a, it's a very early stage of his career, but this victory, what does it specifically add to, to, to his career, his early career? Not just the victory, mm -hmm. but the manner in which he dispatched the opponent. This tells you that this is a ruthless attacker. This is somebody who does not enter the ring to joke. There is a victory and there is an outstanding victory. This victory is a statement. It's okay. a notice to all lightweights and all featherweights, not yeah. just in Ghana but all over the world, that there is a new guy in town. Mm. So watch out for Samuel Techi. Samuel, who, who would you say is your idol, your biggest motivation? I know Bag Bag Bazooka Kote is there. You, if it's still him, fantastic. But who do you look up to? Aside from Ike, I'm sure you look at Ike. Yeah, I look up to Canelo Alvarez. Canelo Alvarez. Yeah. You think he might fight him one day? No, no, no. <laughs> Why? Because it's 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 age because of his age. Age, okay. Yeah. You don't think by that time he'll still yeah. be he'll still be known there. Ah, okay. But aside that among among those fighting I mean at the moment who who, who do you see as a, a threat if you should get up there in your career? Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia. Yeah. Oh Ryan Garcia. Yeah. The one who beat our own yeah. Tegu. Yeah. You see him as a threat, yeah? yeah. He's a good he's a good boxer, yeah, you yeah, think? Yeah. Wow, fantastic. I like that. And and so obviously you're hoping to get to that, that stage. It is it's not gonna come easy. Yeah. Discipline is there, the support from Bazooka Co promotion is also there. But again, there's a lot you have to also do for yourself individually. So tell us a, a bit of the life of a champ of, of the like the life of a champion like yourself. What do you do? I mean after this victory, how how, how what's the what's the appreciation like from, from France? Oh, uh, after after the yeah. after the fight, I went, I went to my fans. We we talk, we we, we celebrate more, mm. and I come back, I I come back camp, to camp. That that's it. Yeah. So from 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 from, from fans from fans to camp. camp. That that's your life now. Yeah. Fantastic. I like that. Okay, so Samuel Techi in the building, and of course we'll be wrapping up the discussion with him today. It'll be wonderful. He is our champ. He is our boxer. He is our Olympic. Uh, medalists as well. The only uh, Ghanaian that got to the podium uh, on that night of the closing ceremony, and he's back. He's turned pro. He turned pro, and a lot of people were not too comfortable about it. He, Sam, he, he was the only African boxer to, to clinch a medal, medal at the Olympics. Yeah. The whole of Africa. Africa. I'm saying there were a bit of reaction from from boxing lovers when he turned pro. I mean, many people were were not too convinced. They thought it was too early for him. Uh, what do you have to say to some of these people, even though he's shown his prowess in his first fight as a, as a pro? Uh, when you go to the Olympic Games, the grandest stage of them all, you know, that is the epoch, you know, of, of boxing in the amateur level. Mm -hmm. And you don't just go to participate, but you go there and you stand out. What else do you have to prove at that level? than to come to the professional ranks and make your mark. Mm. So for those critics, maybe it's because there is a death of talent at the amateur ranks. So mm. they wished maybe he would stay on and compete at the Africa Games, which will be held in Ghana. Mm. That is why I think most of people were, uh, they were clamoring for They thought it was early stay. for him, yeah. Not early, but then so that we would have you know, a tight contingent at the Games, which will be held here next mm. year. But then um, you can't hold a talent to ransom because of that. He has dreams to achieve, mm. and there's no time to waste. Mm. I, I want to know specifically what what prompted your move. Did you know that after the Olympics you go to pro, or, or after winning the medal that prompted you to probably go pro? Yeah, I know after the Olympics I've gone. So it was I'll something you already pro. thought about. Yeah, because that's my dream to, to turn to professional. professional. Yeah, after the Olympics. Wow. So it wasn't as if the, after winning the medal, you thought you've actually achieved something at in, in, in the amateur level, so you wanted to go pro. It was your, your thought already. Yeah, before the Olympics, yeah, before your mind was to go pro, yeah. get a world title. Yeah. All interesting. And, and how, how, did you, how did you take the reaction? A lot of people were not too happy about it initially. Yeah, like I told you, that was my dream to go to a uh, professional when I came back from the Olympics. When I did not get a medal at the Olympics, I'll go to professional. Mm. So that's my dream to go to professional. Mm. Like you were saying, some of us were hoping that you stay on and win and conquer the African Championship for us and other other, other events. Yeah, but you know, uh, 
I have Max to do at a professional, okay. and I, I also have records to break at a professional. professional so as well. That's my dream to come to professional. In Ghana, who who is your biggest threat? Who do you think will, will stand it? Will stand up to you and probably you know cause the biggest threat to you? In Ghana, no one. Oh, no what one. is no one? You are not Samotechi, please. No one. No one. No one. No one. In the lightweight category, for that, no one. No one. No one stands a chance. No one. No one stands a chance. No. no. Wow, what makes you different? Yes. Many things make me different. Many things like yes. what? <laughs> <laughs> My discipline makes me different. A discipline routine. Yeah. There are a lot of books, good boxers out there. Yeah, but I'm different. You're different? Yeah. I like that. I like, I like that. So I'm going to teach you for you. I mean, he says it's different. No boxer in Ghana at the moment stands a chance facing you. No, no, no. No boxer? No. Sam? Do you believe that statement? I concur with consummate conviction. Yeah, um, in his division, um, we don't see anybody standing up. If 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 you watch the fight, the dexterity with which he operates in the ring, a smooth mm -hmm. operator, I don't see any boxer on the local scene matching up to that dexterity and aggression. No. Wow. Well. That's a lot of confidence from your campus, so yeah. it's good. Confidence is key. It helps. So, guys, we, we find our ways, obviously, uh, before you guys wrap up. Uh, Sam, any, anything you want to add yeah, so with like regards to, to his career, uh, of course, what to expect from their camp? Yeah, yeah um, so we're promising Ghanaians a world title in the not-too-distant future. Um, we're also working on the fact that on his third pro fight, he should <laughs> annex the national title and then move on. We want to um, appeal to all Ghanaians, all the whole Balu going on. This is a talent which is not allowed to go with. Let's all rally behind mm -hmm. and Ghana support for him and move him to the pinnacle of the sport. We also like to thank some of our sponsors um, who have been rendering help to us. The likes of Special Eyes, the like of Uncle T, and then Karakoko. Cross. Cross faded mm. and um, also Edwin of Win Base Promotion. They've been of immense help to us. We thank them all. We thank all Ghanaians for your support. Mm. Samuel, your floor, the floor is yours. I mean, any, any people you want to thank, any association, any firms you want to thank? Yeah, first of all, I'll thank my team, my fans, my fans in Atupai. I also thank my fans in Ododirido, Bukumbusi, everywhere in Ghana. I'll thank you very much for supporting me and also I always tell you I've not forget I'll thank you for supporting me uh, at that mature level mm -hmm. uh, when I went to Tokyo when I'm coming back at the airport the way you support the way you did that uh, I appreciate and I thank all Ghanaians for that so I want to tell Ghanaians two three years time I'm going to bring them a world titles not a world title not a world title a world titles unified world titles so Ghanaians to pray for me like the way they pray for me at that mature level. Mm. We are going to bring the world titles in Ghana. Mm. So thank you, all in Ghana. I like that. Life must be good. I see a lot of blinks. We're going to bring the. Uh, Life is good after winning, right? Have yeah. the first undisputed <laughs> champion in Ghana. Well, what is the it? The very first undisputed champion in, in Ghana. Ghana. It's going to we'll be Samuel Teacher. Yeah. Okay. That's it. A very big thank you, Sam Nanagod, who is part of Bazooka Promotion. Of course, uh, they are part of the early stages of Samuel Teacher. Obviously, we're going to see them around uh, this wonderful prospect. And of course, a promising talent Ghana has in Samuel Techi. Sam, it's been wonderful having you in the program. Thank of you course, so the champion of Samuel Techi, who says he's not promising just a world title, he's promising titles. There is no Ghanaian boxer right now at the moment who stands a chance, according to Samuel Techi. That is a huge call. It's a huge statement. I hope you defend that statement with what we see in the ring. I thank you very much, Champ, for your time this morning. Of course, uh, we are back uh, after this break. We're looking at other sporting matters.